Hi, I'm Jim Merritt with Quick Trainer, your QuickBooks and accounting expert. Today's QuickBooks tip and trick, I'm going to talk about um, the chart of accounts and uh, how you change, um, how you edit an account, how you add an account, how you turn on account numbers, and, and just quickly walk you through um, what a, a, a good chart of accounts might look like. Um, this certainly is not um, the gospel, but um, if, if you were to have your chart of accounts look like this, uh, I'm sure your CPA um, uh, would certainly be happy and it would be more meaningful to you as well. So let's just start with how do you get to the chart of accounts. Um, you, from the home page you can click here. You can also go to list chart of accounts. You can also do uh, pull down the control key and hit the letter A. It, either way, those will take you to the same screens, and there is actually more ways. Um, first of all, now, or next, let's talk about how you can add numbers to your account, and that's a preference setting. So if I click on Edit, Preferences, and then I click on Accounting and Company Preferences. Now, just so you know, you have to be logged in as the administrator in order to edit any company preferences. Uh, but here's where you turn on account numbers and show lowest sub account only. Um, I'll talk about what that means in a minute. But it, uh, I will tell you before you can actually invoke this, every general ledger account here must have a number assigned to it, including any hidden accounts that there could be in your general ledger chart of accounts. Okay, so you've heard me use the word general ledger account, you've heard me use the word chart of account. They're synonymous. They mean the same thing. Whether I'm referring to this as the chart of accounts or general ledger account, they, they, they are the same thing. All right. Um, in, my, in this instance, we already have account numbers turned on. When it says show lowest sub-account only, remember I said every account must have an account number? What it's telling you is that instead of showing you, like in this case, account 2100 payroll liabilities, followed by 2110 employee social security payable with the show lowest sub account turned on it will only show you this account and it can make things a lot less confusing so for instance if I'm writing a check and I'm posting it to um, let's say uh, products and materials um, instead of seeing let me just show you what it looks like when I turn that preference setting off real quick show lowest sub account only um, let's turn that off. Now you see it says 5,000 cost of goods sold and then it shows the actual general ledger account um, 5030 cost of goods, products, and materials. That just c gets confusing because the tendency is to think, oh, I posted this to the wrong account when indeed you have not. So let me flip that back on real quick and hopefully you can see now see the difference. Now it just shows the 5030 account. Alright, next. Um, Let's just talk about um, how you edit an account. This is ABC Bank. If I wanted to change it to uh, the bank that I bank with, I right click, right click, and choose Edit Account. Or I can highlight the account and then go to Account and choose Edit Account. Other, and I, the other option is I can do Control plus E. So I hold down the Control key, and while holding it down, press the letter E. Once I've done that, um, it'll actually bring up the account, and now I can change it to the name of the bank that I bank with. Um, and we'll just say this is um, First Bank. A lot of times I will put the last four digits of the account number in here. Uh, not a big fan of putting the entire account number here unless I'm doing electronic bill pay. Um, otherwise, why leave yourself exposed like that? So I'll put the last four here. Now, you can see I have um, an account for um, the cash in the bank. You, let's say that you had a payroll account that you did nothing but payroll out of, so you want to add a new account. I, again, I can right-click anywhere on the screen, doesn't matter where, and choose New. I can also come down to here and choose New or I can do control plus N. So we'll select new. We'll tell it, in this case it's a bank account, but be careful when you select the account that you're setting up that it's the right account. And 
Then I'll give it the next logical uh, count number, which is 1010 in this case. And we'll call this first thing uh, payroll. And I'll put the last four digits in there as well. All right. And um, I'll say no to this. So now we've added a new account as well. Um, the other account, you know, some of these you will use. This chart of accounts, you know, probably 98% of any account you would ever use, you would find in here. And um, I'll take a minute and just let you know, if you go to this website right here, okay, you can see the chart of accounts that we use at Quick Trainer. And any client, just about any client that we ever set up is going to use this chart of accounts. Um, and CPAs are generally happy, very happy with this. The areas that will typically get tweaked, and again, I'm assuming you've got this, um, you've got this uh, reference now, so you can refer to this. Okay, so um, generally, any account that you'll ever need is going to be in here. Some of them you may not need. There may be, you know four or five that you need to add. And the area that's most commonly tweaked is going to be in the income section um, because this is going to be dependent on the business that you're in and how you want to see your revenue, your, your income. The other area that's commonly tweaked would be the cost of goods. You may want to see cost of goods in a slightly different manner. But And then there could be just a few other accounts. Um, this, we don't have a suspense account on this one. We don't have um, a prepaid um, account, um, but those can easily be added using the method I showed you earlier. All right. Um, other than that, you know, just look through these accounts, and um, if you have questions, as always, feel free to give us a call at, at 910-338-0488 or send us an email to info at quicktrainer and at dot biz, B-I-Z. Make it a great day.